and welcome to Megger's Technical Support Videos, where today we will be discussing the Power Factor Form 93500 Voltage Dependence Factor feature. Our first step is to open up the appropriate PowerDB software, in this case PowerDB Lite version 11.2.9. Once the software is open, you can see the selection of instruments in which we will choose the Delta 4000 Power Factor test set utilizing the Power Factor 2 Winding Transformers 93500 test form. Once the test form is open, we can see that we have our header information up top followed by our nameplate information below and our power factor table below that. In our power factor test table we can see a column labeled percent VDF which stands for voltage dependence factor. Your power factor test should not be voltage dependent where you may see some small dependencies in dry type transformers and little to no dependence in oil filled transformers. So in your settings here, you can see options for your percent VDF. If you would like to hide the column, you can click here. Or if you would like to change the limit at which it flags your voltage dependence factor, you can change that value here. In the event that we were to test a transformer that had a 7,620 volt primary, to a 480 volt secondary and was rated 30 kVA. We now have our rated test voltages and with multiple tests on we can click the number 2 to run both tests. Just ensure that you are in simulation mode. Now we can run and simulate the test. We click start we can bypass the interlocks only in simulation mode. Now we have the test completed where we have our power factor, the current, capacitance, and watts. But if we were to close, now we have our percent VDF. The percentage voltage dependence factor is above the 0 0.5 threshold. Therefore, it is in red. And this recommends that you perform a tip-up test. To perform a tip-up test, you must enable manual test. Go down to your delta control, this window here. And then you can perform an automatic tip-up test. I would refer to the tip-up test within the Mega support videos for more information. Thank you for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos and tune into some of our other videos for more information.